the testing process for me is really important because everything changes constantly. There's a new camera every six months. Uh, we've almost come to the end of HD now, and we've now been moving into 4K, ultra high definition, high di dynamic range, high frame rate. So there's always new cameras and new codecs, new lenses, new post-production, and these all have an impact on how the image looks. And so a testing is a good way of keeping on top of that and being aware of what's out there, what, what things look like and how they can help you with solving problems. And so Wolf was a good example. The director, Peter Kosminski, hadn't shot digital before. He'd always shot film. So I said, let's look at all the available cameras. Let's test everything. Let's not say we're going to use this, this, this. Let's just put them all on a flat kind of playing field and see how they react to the things we're going to throw at them, like candlelight and, and daylight. See whether this is possible to light by candlelight. And that was the start. So we went to um, rental house and lined up all the cameras and, and got candles and got my uh, camera assistants and got a bowl of fruit and got them to move around and turned all the lights out and just saw what would happen. And we did the same with daylight. Um, quite crudely, then took the whole lot to the post-production house, put it through a very straightforward system and told the house, get the best image you can out of each camera. And then we went and then we just projected it all and looked at it. And we didn't look at it with any kind of measuring stick or any technical resolution chart or we just said what looks like Wolf Hall, what gives us the look we're after. And by that we were able to sort of narrow down the cameras that had technical problems, the cameras that didn't have technical problems, the cameras that started to have an interesting look. I mean lenses, because it's, you can't separate the two, they're a pack. So in fact I mean, there's a, a really good series of books, I don't know if they're still available, by a great landscape photographer called Ansel Adams who shot amazing pictures of Yosemite National Park and, and parts of America in plate, using a plate camera, a big black and white plate camera, and they're stunning, stunning photographs. And he published a series of books called, I think it was called The Camera, The Negative, The Print, because you, you can't separate those three. The image is a result of all those three. The image then is a result of the negative, the camera and lens system, and the print, because the print involves another lens, the projector and the paper and the chemicals. And it's only when you get to the end that you've got your image. And so it's the same. You've got the camera body, you've got the lens in front of it, you've got the post workflow, the codex that are applied, you've got the grade and you've got how it's seen. And it's only when you get to the end that you've got your finished image. And so it's actually all of those are a unit. They become the image taking process. And so you, when you're testing, you're assembling all of those elements and they all work differently. So you, you, you pick things, you don't pick a body and a lens, you actually almost have to pick things simultaneously and say, okay, how do these lenses work with these bodies? And what we found was a Cook S4 would look different on a Red Dragon than it would on an Alexa. A Master Prime would look different on a C300 than it would on a Sony. And so you start to, we actually, t we, did, we tested all the bodies and then we tested all the lenses on all the bodies. So we could see what combination looked right so it's and then you take it to the post house and you test them you're testing their process and it's only when you get to the end of that chain that you've got your final image and then you say okay that's our image taking system but it involves the whole link you want to see what's the dynamic range of the camera you want to see from the brightest how, when will it clip highlights when will it lose detail in shadows you want to see how faithful the colors are reproduced are different colours pushed more than other colours. You want to see how malleable the image is, how much can you push it in post-production before it starts to fall apart. And also there are things, does it look too sharp? Does it look electronic? Does it look modern? Or does it look organic? Or does it look grainy? Does it look soft? I ask, kind of, you're asking, you're looking for subjective adjectives rather than is it what's the MTF curve? What's the the bare response? What's the resolution? Um, that's yeah, I'm not interested.